hey guys this is balu and today i will show how we can create this kind of videos in blender easily so hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay let's start today's video so here i'm using blender 3.6.5 nice so first of all let's select everything in sd version by pressing a on the keyboard and delete now let's import our character so here i will be using mixamo to get the characters just you create an adobe account login using that select the character and complete his animations and search for the animation what you're looking for so here i will type as dance and after that just click on the animation and it will be loaded onto this character so once that is done come to this download option and download it in fbx format and click on this download button so after that now come to this blender once again go to this file option import select fbx and locate the file so here i got the file just import it now select the armature press s and increase the scaling here and now let's hide out this armature so hide it out here in the scene collection now select the mesh of the character come to this particle system add particle system and change it to here so first of all length i will reduce this to 0.25 and segments i will increase this to 10 so now if i play this you can see we got that hair particles so now in order to move them dynamically as per the movement we need to enable this hair dynamics option so enable this hair dynamics and now if i play this there will be a movement of the hair nice enable this advanced option also and come to this catchy options here we need to increase the frame length so here the animation is of let me show you so here the animation is of like 480 frames so i will change the time length to 480 now let's hide out this one second armature now select this mesh in particle system come to this catchy options here we need to increase the simulation and frame so i will change this to 480 so that the simulation stays throughout the timeline now scroll down enable this rotation option also so come to this physics options and uh, here i will increase the mass value like 2 kg and let's come to this children options and enable this interpolated option to get extra hair particles and from here also we can adjust the length now come to this clumping option enable this clumping and from here i will bring this graph like this so that we'll get the clumping at the end now scroll down if you want to add some roughness enable this use roughness value also and here also let's bring it or else let's select the preset i think this much is fine and field weights i will reduce the gravity to 0.5 so once this is done let's increase the particle count to 10,000. so here we'll get more particles added so here i forgot to mention one thing so here we got this brownian option right if i change this to 0.01 Point 0.1 you can see we are getting some difference in the arrangement so tweak the value to match your desired look so i think 0.2 would be fine so once you are happy with the result now let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here let's increase the scaling of the plane and for this plane in order to make these particles collide with the plane we need to add collision property so select the plane come to this physics property add collision so i think default settings will work fine now select the character here i forgot to mention one thing so if i scroll down so here in render options so come to this render option here we got this show emitter right if you disable this one we won't get that actual mesh we will get only hair particles visible while render so depending upon your wish you can either enable or disable this option so for this i will be disabling this one now move on to this material viewport so here this hair particles already got some material i will delete that one so come to this material properties let's delete this one so just click on this now let's add another material before to that let's come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion and distance i will change this to three now come to the sharing options click on this new material so principal bsdf added now shift a and add texture coordinate so add texture coordinate now again shift a and select gradient texture so select this gradient texture node now again look for ramp so select this color ramp node so now connect this generator to vector color to factor and color to color now we'll get some gradient here so now let's change the color so here i will change the color to purple and for this white let me change the color of this white also so i'll change this to uh, no. and if you want to add extra colors just click on this plus icon and change the color from here so now we got these three colors but here we need to rotate the colors because they are not aligned properly so we need to add another node which is mapping node so shift a and search for mapping 
So select this mapping node and place in between this texture and gradient. Now come to the Z rotation value and let's change this to minus 90. Okay, so now we got these three colors visible. Now select this ground plane and let's add simple material. So let's change this base color to let's change this material like dark black. Okay, now come to this render settings once again. Enable the screen space reflections and refractions also. Now select this one and come to this material properties and increase the metallic value and reduce the roughness a bit so that we will get the reflections properly. Now we can see the reflections. Now let's move on to this layout once again. Now let's move on to this render viewport. So now come to this world properties, click on this yellow dot and add environment texture. So here we need to use HDRA. So here we can download free HDRAs from Polyheaven. So here I will load a HDRA. So let me select this HDRA here. So now you can see we got lighting in the scene. Now come to this render settings once again, scroll down, come to this film option and enable this transparent if you want to have the transparent background. So now let's add a camera in the scene. So go to this add camera. Now control alt 0 to see through camera. Now press N on the keyboard, come to this view options, lock this to 3D cursor and camera. Now we can adjust the position. So let's select this plane, press S and increase the scaling in X axis. So once the camera is set, come to this output properties. So here by default this full HD resolution is set. If you want to change you can change it here. Now lock this to render region, crop to render region, frame rate here you can change this. So I will leave this to 30 only. Frame start and end, 1 to 4 it is fine. So now let's select a folder to save the output files. So click on here and select a folder. So here I have selected a folder to save the files. So in file format you can select either JPEG or PNG or else if you want to render in video format select this FFmpeg video. So here I will render in JPNG format. If PNG format is used, make sure this RGBA is selected. Once this is done, select the character, come to this particle system, come to this catch option and simply click on this bake button. So once the bake is done, go to this render and render animation. So in this way, we can create this kind of cool videos in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.